Shout out to Clean My Mac for sponsoring this video. What's up everyone, my name is Sarah Dici at Rhymes with Peachy. Today we are talking about productivity on the iPad because there are some updates to iPadOS 16 that have kind of been brushed under the rug and that's what I wanna talk about today. I do love the full external display support that we're getting and another fun productivity feature will be the app Freeform. This is coming later this year and it's an app that's basically a big whiteboard for diagramming out projects with collaborators. Stage Manager is Apple's new way of multitasking for the iPad. I still have not gotten used to it, and to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan in its current state. So with Stage Manager, I really hope they figure it out in time of the iPad OS 16 release that should be right around the corner, but it's mostly for people who use iPads as laptops anyways. The iPad mouse squad, and that's just not how I use my iPad. I like to use my iPad as an iPad, and of course, hey, this beautiful Lab 22 stand helps me do that. You have amazing articulation. You can bring it up, you can bring it down. This is perfect if you take take notes. And yes, this is a self plug. I actually made this iPad stand, which is crazy. So you can check out my lab 22 link in the description below. Okay, back to this. So I love the multitasking features that they already have with slide over and split view. Now it took them a minute to figure this out and get people to get used to this. It helped that they added these three dots up here um, to go into full screen or pop over to slide over mode. I use slide over mode a ton for my password manager, move it right over there to go back and slide over. This multitasking is enough for me, but I can understand people who use their iPad as laptops, they want a little bit more. But that's not why we're here today. So let's talk about another productivity upgrade that kind of flew under the radar, and that is the Reminders app. Even though it kind of looks the same, Apple has actually borrowed a ton of features from apps like Things and Notion, which I'm very familiar with, to make this app super powerful. It doesn't look like it on the surface, but these features are already on your phone's Reminders app if you've updated to iOS 16, and they'll be on the iPad soon, again, with that iPadOS 16 update. So let's hop into these updates. So now in Reminders, just like in Notion, you have templates. So say you can make a packing list for when you take a trip, then save it as a template. And then you can go back and reuse that template every time you go on a trip. I'm actually about to go out of the country to get married. I'm very excited. So let's make a packing list template. Now, if you start from the add the list and go over to templates, you actually can't start here, which is odd. So you have to start with adding a normal list. So let's say packing list. Now I'm just gonna add some initial bullet points that I would need for every single trip. So toiletries, did I spell that right? Glasses. Okay, so most of these are toiletries and I actually wanna add them as a subtask, which is new. I can actually go through and indent to make these a subtask. And now we have this little toggle, kind of reminiscent of a Notion toggle that'll hide those subtasks if you want, or you can just leave them out like that. You can also add subtasks by coming into the info and going subtask. So let's say glasses, green ones blue ones. <laughs> Gotta have a variety of glasses, guys, okay? Let's say this is everything that I need to start my base for every single trip. Well, I can go up here to the three dots and hit save as template. And you know, I'm gonna get super organizy because my brain is already like in notion brain because I wanna organize things. So I'm gonna make a list of templates and then drag and drop the packing list on top of the templates to make a group. Grocery list because hey, we always need the basics of bread, milk, coffee, etc. Okay, so now for my next trip, I'm prepared, right? I don't have to think about what are the basics that I need every time. So I'm gonna go in here and I'll say add list. Let's go over to the templates and we're gonna start with the packing list template and we're gonna name this France packing list. Boom, and there you have it. So this template stays exactly the same. Remember, it's just a starting point, but we go in here, France packing list, and we have all of the reminders that we set in the template. How notion of them, you know? And speaking about being a little bit like notion, you can go to your template and actually hit the share button, and you're going to get an iCloud link. And then you can put that in a description of a video. I'll leave a template down below just so you can test it out. You know what's funny about this? People who use stock Apple apps, 
like Apple Notes, Reminders, stuff like that, often make fun of people who go ham in apps like Notion or I really love the to-do app things. And I feel like this might give who you would call normals, not productivity gurus, it might give them the bugs to start making templates and to have some fun with their apps. Okay, so speaking of borrowing from other apps, the app that I just mentioned that I used is called Things. But why I mentioned that is there's a lot of similarities now with reminders and things. So now with reminders, you have both the headline, which is film video, you have the note section, which is where I have iPad OS 16 here, and now you have the ability to add subtasks, and then you also have the ability to add tags. So just like in things, you can grab a to-do, grab a reminder, and move it around. Say I want it above the Fill My Video. However, with reminders, you actually get a little bit more flexibility because you can actually drag a reminder on top of another reminder, and then it adds it as a subtask. And then if you want to go back, you can always drag and drop, just like you did. There we go. Or you can outdent by swiping, just like that. Also, embedded content in reminders has gotten a major facelift, so if I go over here, you'll see that in the URL section, I added a Safari link and you have a nice embed. And then this is what um, a link to Apple Maps looks like. Oh, this Apple Maps iPad app is actually really pretty. Upon launch, it was such a trash app that I just never gave it another chance. Mm, that's a shame. You can also pin list and it moves to the top of your page like that. But if you're anything like me, whenever I pin a iMessage conversation and it moves to the top in the little circle, I honestly forget about it more because, hey, it's no longer in the list of messages. This might actually make me forget about this list, but hey, it's just preference. And smart lists have gotten even smarter. So you can now filter based on any or all of the filters listed below here. So this smart list will include reminders matching any of the filters that I listed below here. So when we go to the smart list, it features everything in the video's reminders and then also with the tag filming. Okay, so this is probably the biggest part. The organization of the reminders app has changed to resemble an app like things. It's almost identical to things. Plus some more customization based on time, which is interesting. So there are now different buckets for your reminders. You have today, scheduled, all, and flagged. This is where all of your completed reminders will go, kind of like the logbook and things. So let's go ahead and check that off. When we now go into the completed list, you now see the reminder that I just checked off and uh, which is helpful. What they added is the time at which you checked it off if you're wondering when you got that task done. In the settings, you can also say if you wanna um, see the assign to me tasks. So uh, say your significant other assigns you tasks, you better do those tasks, right? They will pop up right here. And if you don't like this, you just wanna see all of your reminders, you can actually hold it down and then say hide and it disappears. Okay, so let's go over the today view. But right before that, just a quick word from our sponsor, Clean My Mac. Clean My Mac X is the best software on the market to clean and optimize your Mac. It helps you identify and delete junk, monitor threats, and uninstalls unused apps. The app's most popular feature is Smart Scan, where it examines your system log files and user cache that is no longer needed and deletes those files to clear up space and prevent problems on your Mac. With the malware removal, you can scan your MacBook for cryptocurrency miners, viruses, adware, and remove them instantly. Clean My Mac X also just released a brand new menu app, which, oh my gosh, I am so excited to see. I usually use like a hodgepodge of multiple apps for this, so this is just so handy. You get five new detailed monitors that give you updates around your Mac's battery, memory, temperature, and consumption processes. Is your Mac feeling a little sluggish? Well, you can go to the memory monitor and see what app is hogging up all of the memory and quit that app right from the menu. This new menu app is so pretty. I love it. So hey, if you're interested in removing the mess and preventing problems with your Mac, check out Clean My Mac X. It is super easy to install, you can see here. And if you wanna check it out, click that link in the description below. Thank you Clean My Mac once again for sponsoring this video. Back to it. Okay, so let's go over the today view. If you scheduled a reminder for today, which is 
October 14th, it will show up in your today view automatically. Or if you need to get something done today, you can just create a reminder directly from this view. So let's say edit this video. So they actually added these sections morning, afternoon, tonight. By default, it puts the uh, reminder at the very top, but say I want to do this tonight. So reminders is actually going to assign a time to it. As you can see, 6 p.m. and it's going to ping me. It's going to send me a notification to, hey, edit this video tonight at exactly 6 p.m. If you put it under morning, it'll be 9 a.m. and afternoon is 3 p.m. So that is the biggest difference between reminders and things is more often than not reminders is going to be like, hey, you want to get a notification for this? You want to ping because this app is called reminders. Remember, I'm reminding you. However, what I really like about the things app is when you dump a to do in today or just your inbox, you don't have the notes section below kind of crowding it. It's just a very simple minimalistic view. Now, if there's a to do that comes from a specific project and I put it in the today view, you will see see it. But oftentimes when I wake up or the night before, I'll just jot down some to do's in the today view and they're not assigned to a specific project. It's just what I need to do today. But as you can see here, even if I add a reminder here, let's see task, it automatically assigns it to the reminders list, which I feel like is kind of weird. I feel like they should update it where if you add a to do directly from the today view, it should just stay in the today view. It doesn't necessarily have to be in a certain certain list. Reminders actually takes it a step further when it comes to customizing times. And if you don't do the drag and drop thing, you can actually swipe to the right and you have the option to move it to tomorrow, this weekend, or assign a specific date and time. We're going to move it to tomorrow. So it's no longer in the today view and the reminders app will automatically populate that reminder in the today view tomorrow. When you swipe to the left, you have the option to flag it. Hey, this is super important or delete reminder. If you want to delete a task, super quick, you can just swipe all the way to the left and it'll automatically delete it. Scheduled view shows all of the reminders that are coming up. And they also added a new week and month group to help with longer term organization. So when I scroll down here, it says rest of October, do that other thing. I need to remember to do that other thing. I'm glad I'm on my testing iPad and not my personal iPad, because I feel like the reminders would be a little bit embarrassing. Really, Sarah, you need a reminder to take out the trash every Tuesday. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. So I know that was a bit, but they actually added a lot here for iPadOS 16. So let me know, are you going to take a stab at it? Do you already have another to do app? Let me know if you have any suggestions down below. I am already set in my ways with things, but maybe you can help someone else out. Reminders would definitely be the easiest go to because it comes pre installed on your iPhone. It works with Siri really well, but I know that there are an infinite number of to do apps. Okay, so since we're talking about Apple and productivity, I feel like I got to mention just a few updates to the Apple notes app. So now you have enhanced smart folders based on more options to create those custom filters, kind of similar to the reminders app. You can now lock a note with your iPhone passcode, not a random passcode that you enter and then forget later on done that. And you can now add screenshots to a quick note using the share menu. Kind of shocked that that wasn't a feature from the get, but glad they added it. It's kind of crazy how powerful Apple Notes has gotten throughout the years. However, it's not my favorite app to use the Apple Pencil and write notes with. I much rather use OneNote or even GoodNotes is really great. But for the majority of the people, it is a stellar app and you really don't have to leave the Apple ecosystem, which sometimes I do wonder how independent app developers do feel about kind of borrowing some of their features. Like we're going to talk things, things and reminders are starting to look kind of similar. Okay. So let's talk about my to do philosophy. So there are literal entire books written on this and I kind of just put it in Sarah words, take what I like and not what I don't. So I'm a big fan of just dumping things from my brain. When I'm walking around life, my brain always feels a little burden with, hey, a new video idea, a business idea. Oh, I should do this, that, and that. I need to order that on Amazon.
Amazon, right? And when it stays in my head, it really does clutter my thinking. And when you use sophisticated apps like say Notion or Airtable, there is this pressure that whatever you put in that app, it has to already be organized. It has to go to the right folder. And those apps aren't super quick either. So it's hard to just dump. So when it comes to adding to-dos on my phone, I basically have a things widget on the homepage. I have the inbox and today. If I have no idea where this idea that I have needs to go, I just throw it in my inbox. Look at how insane this inbox is. I need to go through and check some of the stuff off, but this is where just the dump goes. And then later I'll go in and organize it or move it to my today view. And these are all the tasks that I do today. I've had an extremely busy few Few weeks planning a wedding in only a month so I did more dumping than actually going through and checking things off but again half of this for me is to just get it out of my head and if I need to be like oh what did I what did I need to do then I can go in here and search so I kind of have the same philosophy on my laptop or my desktop if I need uh, to save an important document or I need to screenshot something the two places that normally they'll go if it's not super important it goes straight into the documents folder but I put things straight on the desktop, straight into downloads, and I never delete them until I have time. This is like once every two weeks where I go through every single one and I figure out, do I need this? If I don't, I throw it in the trash. And if I do, I find a folder for it and documents are somewhere in my NAS. So I am continually dumping, 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 dumping. <laughs> Again, I don't know how to put that more gracefully. When I'm really on it, I'll go through and organize it. I'll say, okay, I've done these things check 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 oh this needs to go into a specific projects folder this needs to move to the inbox it's not important to do today and then I'll really be disciplined with only having hey maybe like eight really important to do's in the today or I'll just let it run wild for a little bit and then I'll go through and check things off and start over I think the thing that helps me with this app is it helps me with the dumping and the searching part I just scroll down to search if I need to find something and so there's not a ton of pressure of being religious just about it and keeping up with it every single day because hey I have some time right now so let's go into the today view and see what I've actually done because I've probably actually done a lot of this stuff this is a video idea that's not important anymore so I'm just gonna swipe to the right and hit clear it's still in that video ideas folder it's just not important today wedding have I done all this yes 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 boom crushing it check uh I have no idea what this means. Done that, done that, done that. Oof, rest in peace, my bank account. As you can see in things, you can assign specific dates to things. We'll just add a new date and then that's gonna move it out of my today and it'll pop into my today view on that date at the end of October. It's not, it's not important now. Okay, I'm just gonna swipe here and grab all of these because this is just too much. So this is what I call to-do default. Move it to the inbox, beautiful. Okay, boom, this is a better place to start from. Although I am going to add edit this video and we'll just do it this evening. Boom, okay, that's what I have to do for the rest of the day, I like it. When I go to the upcoming tab, something I really enjoy about the Things app is it also syncs with your calendar if you want it. So here I have all of the to-dos that I need to do on the certain days, as well as my calendar events. So really it's all you need in one view, it's really nice. You have the logbook, which is all of the to-dos that you have done. It'll tell you the date when you checked it off, but it doesn't get as specific as reminders with the time and then as you keep scrolling you have um, these little areas uh, with different projects so if we go here click on wedding and then you click again on a project so I have Sarah to do as a project it's a to do within a to do within a to do this is actually something that has helped me a ton when I'm out and about living life is when I have some of my best ideas for videos oh I need to mention that oh I need to grab that and so I needed a faster way to input and organize those ideas I still use notion for scripts to tag sponsors work with my team but things is just for me I just throw stuff here and it's really easy to organize based on a different video bucket so as you can see here when a video is kind of a finalized video in my head it'll get its own project and I start putting 
putting to do's in there. And then I just have normal to do's down here when the video is kind of like a figment of my imagination and I'll turn it into a project if I need to later. It's kind of funny seeing videos that have already turned into videos here. I can go ahead and check that one off. So we'll keep scrolling, got some to do's for lab 22 and some other things. Okay, hey, well that was a lot, but if you stuck until the end, congratulations. We talked about a lot of things. Let me know what you think about these updates. Are you excited about iPad OS 16? That is right around the corner. Do you like Stage Manager? I don't, but you know what? I'll, I'll give it time. And hey, make sure to check out that link in the description below for our lovely sponsor, Clean My Mac. They have been crushing it lately. And if you're intrigued, oh hey, what a nice iPad stand. I love it so much. Well, you can check out that link down in the description below to pre-order them now. This is so exciting. I, I It's been honestly so busy in between the wedding and tech season and videos and launching an entire new brand with Lab22 that it's gonna take a minute to get the Lab22 socials back up and running because our primary focus right now is just fulfilling the Kickstarter orders um, and, and really figuring out, hey, how is this brand going to stand on its own and figuring out some logistics things. So I appreciate you guys so much much keeping up with me and if you ever have any questions you can just shoot me a tweet at Sarah Dici. um and yeah life has been fun lately thanks for hanging out with me like this video hit that subscribe button down below for new videos every single week and until next time everyone will stay peachy okay bye